Welcome to Coffee Talk, and thank you for joining us today. On this show, we'll be chatting about the latest CU Band Buzz, our guest best experiences in band and anything in between. For our first show, we would like to introduce Bryce Pittman. He's a senior. He was a drum major here at Campbell, and he majored in history. He plans a career in pre-law. Welcome, Bryce. Uh, thank you, Dr. Wilson. So my first question is, what are some of the highlights of your experiences in band? Well, um, you know, I think a lot of my highlights is just a, a lot of the people that I've met here at Campbell and through the band program. I know coming in freshman year and, and doing the pet band, we were able to come in early, and I, I met some of the closest friends that um, I've ever had here at Campbell. Um, not, just, not just people in the band program, but people I met through um, the friends that I made in the band program. I know that that's definitely something that has been very important to me here. Um, and I think I, I loved the opportunity of traveling to Germany with the band freshman year. And um, yeah, that was an amazing trip. That was, it was a lot of fun. And I kind of got surprised with the opportunity coming in. And uh, I remember being cornered in the hallway by John one day, and he's like, Are you interested in coming to Germany? And I was like, uh, yes, yes, sir, I am. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. And um, and then this past year, having the opportunity to um, be the drum major for the band in, in the second year of the marching band. So that was that was really cool, too. And and it's really helped me in everything that I've done. So yeah, We uh, spent uh, a week, 10 days in Cologne, and that was amazing time. Uh, my One of my amazing times there is when we went into the cathedral in Cologne. Uh, the first time, and I was awestruck. It was, it was, it was amazing to hear the the organ fill up that space, that massive space, especially when when you got to go to mass. Yes, I think I actually enjoyed going to mass a little more than the tour of yeah, it, um, yeah. just seeing everything, and and that's just not something I've ever gotten the opportunity to do before. Go to mass, much less go to mass in such a famous place like that. So. And didn't they, they did the mass in three different languages. Yes. So uh, there was a, a youth choir that sung in English, I remember, I believe. And so that, that all was amazing. It but, was. So, and I was able to find coffee in, in Cologne, too. So that's yeah. always a good thing. So. <laughs> and it was good, too. I remember those little coffee shops everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So I was struck by the, re, do you remember the spire that was outside the cathedral that they, that you see on the top, but they put one on the ground so you could see how big they were? Yeah. And then, so you could get an idea of how massive the cathedral yeah, was. Yeah, I think that was my one regret from the thing, is not being able to go up into, into the towers Tower, and, yeah. and see everything. But still, like, it just gives me a reason to go back. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, of course, one of my favorite times was when we uh, played the jazz combo played on the Rhine River. On the Rhine River. We <laughs> took the boat down the Rhine. That, the food was great. It was, it was a good thing because we had been pushing it and lost oh, yeah. some luggage, lost some interim instruments in, uh, in Reykjavik, of all places. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. I remember my biggest thing on that, t on that part was the water. You know, they... That was the biggest difference. Culture shock kind of going over there was that you had to pay for water, not just pay for water, but oh, you yeah. would buy it and it'd always be bubbly. And, right. And they had unlimited water. And I think I drank like four or five big glass <laughs> bottles of it on that boat. And I was, yeah. it was just the best thing over there. So. Do you remember, I, I don't know if you remember seeing, uh, you know, John Owens was looking for Coca-Cola and couldn't find, because they always had the small bottles of Coke. Yeah. And then he found some store that sold them, and he had cases of Coca-Cola <laughs> carrying them around. I know, there so. were definitely times like that where you finally found something <laughs> that you were looking for, and you're like, oh, I need, I need it, that. I need it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't get used to the uh, bubbly water. That didn't, didn't work for me, but yeah. uh, that, that was amazing. The last concert in Germany was totally amazing. There. It, everything fell into place. That was. That was, that was one of the first experience yeah. I've had where, like, the final performance, the biggest performance that we had was the best performance yes. that we had. Like, I, I finished that, and I was just so relieved, and, and, and it was just such an awesome opportunity. Yeah, that, that was truly amazing. We uh, played for an audience of, uh, well, it was a sold-out audience, and, uh, and, and uh, it was the, uh, a big festival, actually. The reason we went there to play for that festival and it was a sold-out audience, 
and they loved the music. As a matter of fact, you remember when we finished, they wouldn't stop applauding for an encore. So we played an encore, and then we played another encore, and then we played another encore, and then I started to get dirty looks from the brass players. Yeah. Like, I can't play anymore. <laughs> and I don't think we had anything no, left to No, because we, it was point. on the winter sol solstice, and so it was the longest night, and I remember <laughs> we just kept playing. So it was hours, and and it know. was, and that was the most gorgeous concert venue either, because you're on the stage and you could look out to the left, and, and you could just see yeah. the hill and see the Rhine exactly. River. Exactly, the, the Rhine River. That was that was beautiful. Well, um, in all of your experiences, could you tell us maybe a, a, a life lesson or two, maybe that you learned through whatever it was that you were doing in band, whether it was performing or being around other uh, band students? I think I think the biggest thing I've learned and. It has a lot to do with the band program, but not just that, but in my experience here at Campbell as a whole is just kind of like managing my own expectations and how I react to my expectations. I know a lot of the times, you know, I, I sometimes expect the worst out of people and get the best and or vice versa and um, or expect things to be a certain way. And I know I'm, I'm kind of a type A personality and I want things to be a certain way. And so, just a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so with that, it was always hard for me to, you know, adjust coming in and adjusting to that and I think that really like part of part of my experience here is you know separating what my expectations were with, the, with what actually happened because a lot of the times you know if I came in with an open mind about things I realized that you know they might not be done the way that I would do it but a lot of the times they were done better and um, things were done just and it, it gave me the opportunity to learn and grow rather than to be kind of set in the ways that I was coming in so Absolutely. that's probably one of the biggest things that I've learned. Yeah, it, it, if, if you're mindful, you're open to uh, life's lessons, you know, yeah. wherever they come from, and you ne never know. And so. there's so many people in the band program that you can learn things from, and and not just not just the directors. That of oh, course, yeah, the directors absolutely. are, like, um, amazing, but just your peers and um, the people around you, too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, it, you, you've you been here four years, and you've been part of the band program. You have been a part of... All of the band program, bands, percussion ensemble, playing in the euphonium, uh, being the drum major, uh, you've, you've done it all. So what would you say are maybe like some of the best memories, the ones you're like, I I'm going to be, I'm going to be Dr. Wilson's age and I'm still going to remember that. <laughs> yeah, I know one of, one of my favorite things and one of the, like the, the more defining moments um, was when I had the opportunity to play um, my marimba solo. Um, at uh, the percussion ensemble concert. Um, and I know being a music minor here and um, there's just, and having mallets as my main instrument, there's not a ton of opportunities to play them and to um, show that. So being able to work with Nate and, um, or Nate Campbell, the percussion instructor, and, um, and kind of have that opportunity was definitely one of my favorite things that I, I've done here. And, um, you know, I'd worked on that piece for a year at that point, um, struggled <laughs> with it like every week um, working on one piece. And so finally having the opportunity to show that because a lot of like in my lessons and stuff, I, I would be working on pieces, but then just kind of finished with them. Um, right. So having that opportunity to perform it, I know that was that was amazing. And I remember I had shaved my head that day, too. So oh, I, I think, remember that. Yeah. I, I, and so I that totally was a little forgot shock that you did that. <laughs> to everyone. So that was that's definitely one of my um, one of the bigger memories as well. Yeah. Um, I think the other one was um, the look on um, Mr. Owen's face um, when we were in Germany, when I had um, came up and showed him the tattoo of a camel that I had gotten um, as my souvenir for that trip. And <laughs> and it, I there could see go. his brain That's working perfect. like, your parents are going to kill me. <laughs> Luckily, though, they, like everyone was fine about it. But I remember that was that was just funny, kind of seeing him like go through the kind of like emotions of, oh my gosh, what did you just do? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's great talking to you. Uh, this was this was fun. So be sure to tune in next week, uh, where we'll be talking with uh, another percussionist, senior percussionist Olivia Exum who is student teaching currently and about to finish up her degree as well. So thanks for uh, coming to the coffee chat and hearing about the CU band buzz.